after doing this project, I feel like an earth scientist because um, we studied a lot about the earth and about the faces of the moon, and it was and it was really fun learning about the faces of the moon and stuff. Raise your hand if you're ready to get started. All right, let's go. Here at Navy Elementary, these third graders are studying earth science through project-based learning. Project-based learning is a student-centered pedagogy in which students learn about a subject through the experience of problem solving. Students learn both thinking strategies and content knowledge. Students are used to getting answers from their teachers, they're used to getting answers from their parents because quite frankly, it's easier that way. But we want our students to be thinkers. We want to prepare them for jobs that we can't even fathom will be available to them in the future. They have more, more of a role in their learning. They are the ones basically taking on the learning and we're there to support them. Water cycle. What is the first step that we have when we're starting the water cycle? Teachers Abby Little exactly. and Kathleen Brennan received training in project-based learning over the summer and their third grade classes are using this method to learn the content of science, language arts, and social studies through complex authentic tasks and scenarios. Students are placed in collaborative groups where they also learn important social skills while having voice and choice over the tools they select to support the learning process and illustrate their understanding of a topic. Project-based learning is different from the traditional way of teaching. Um, we, just, we give them a driving question. So they have an open-ended question where they are asked to go and find the answers. Um, where in the traditional classroom it might be me just feeding the answers to the children. Instead of having that, we have them go out and seek those answers by themselves with our support. They become experts in the field of whatever subject that they're studying. Right now we're working with earth science, so we've given them a title of earth scientist. So they really take on that role. So that come presentation day, they feel like they're the expert and they're communicating that, that knowledge to the community. Um, along the way, they're given different performance assessments through exit tickets, um, quizzes, tasks to make sure that they're mastering the material. Um, so that it, when it comes to that presentation day, we can really ensure that they're able to express what they've learned. You see how we, I split it into two groups, the boys and the girls. Collaboration is key to making this work. And it took a lot of time for third graders to really understand, A, how to be respectful to each other, B, how to help each other if somebody was struggling, and C, how to really voice their ideas without feeling like it was going to be uh, disrespected. So that was very important to build that community at the beginning of the class year. It's really fun. I, it's helping me learn a lot. I learned it learn a lot more than just in regular classes. It's fun and when you're having fun you end up learning more stuff. After several weeks of research it's time for this group of 61 scientists to present what they've learned to an audience. Students use their creativity to show phases of the moon, earth cycles, and why water conservation is important. This down forms a water drop. This forms a cloud. Well, I learned that that water does not make itself does not keep getting more and more of it. It regenerates itself through the water cycle. And I learned that brushing your teeth, you do not need to leave the water running. I learned that we can use way too much water with a family for 400 gallons. Using technology, teachers and students can connect with experts partners and one another to find resources and information, create products, and collaborate more effectively. Project-based learning gives students a deeper understanding of core curriculum. It also keeps students highly engaged. In the classroom, I've seen students deeply engaged in what they're learning. I'm seeing them apply concepts that they've learned to other fields. Um, I'm seeing students explore things on their own at home. They want to do the research outside of class, which is, as a teacher is really, really rewarding. A lot of the students with traditional classrooms aren't that engaged. They get bored, and you hear that all the time from the parents. They're bored, they're bored. But if you walk in here, you'll see 61 students fully engaged in what they're doing. And if they're engaged, then they're learning, and they're enjoying themselves. 